everyone, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you for how long you need to wash your face when using a cleanser. Now this primarily depends on the cleanser that you're using and what you're trying to remove from the skin. And so I've put them into different categories with the different times in between for how long you need to massage a cleanser over your face and neck before you're going to rinse it off with water. So the first category would be oil or balm cleanser. So you can see some examples that I can recommend. They are suitable for all skin types and are very gentle on the skin can even be used around the eyes and lips so such a cleanser is extremely important to use if you're wearing stubborn sunscreen and or makeup specifically physical sunscreen or waterproof makeup because it is much easier and effective to remove it from the skin now usually those cleansers are being applied to dry skin so please keep this in mind and then you're going to massage it over your face and neck for about one to two minutes so that you have enough time to properly break down your sunscreen and or makeup and reach every corner for your eye makeup your lips so that you can properly take it off the skin and then you're going to remove it with water then the other category would be gentle cleansers for different skin types. Now most gentle cleansers can be used over the entire face and neck including your eyes and lips. However, if you should have a cleanser at home that's going to irritate your eyes or may uh, emphasize that you shouldn't use it around your eyes, please follow that specific guide. But the main focus is to properly remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin. Some do tell you that you can use it to remove a sunscreen and makeup from the skin as well, although this is very lightweight makeup that's not waterproof and the same would apply to sunscreens that are not water resistant or physical sunscreens so that you can properly take it off the skin. Now if it usually does say that you can use it to remove makeup and sunscreen from the skin, well then of course you could theoretically use it around your eyes if it does not mention anything like that I recommend being careful with it overall for how long you're going to massage such a cleanser over your face at neck is going to be 30 seconds to a minute so you're going to apply to wet skin and massage it over your skin for 30 seconds to a minute and then you're going to rinse it off with water and then the last category would be treatment cleansers this can be exfoliating acid cleansers such as AHA glycolic lactic acid or BHA salicylic acid cleansers or even your benzoyl peroxide now with such cleansers most of them will tell you to to avoid the eye area lips and not getting it into your nose because this may lead to irritation so they give you a specific guidance what areas you should avoid and where you can use the cleanser and those in that specific example those are not meant to really take off your sunscreen and or makeup but it's mainly going to help you to remove any excess oil dirt and sweat from the skin and then treat your specific skin needs since those are treatment cleansers so please keep this in mind overall when applying it to wet skin you are going to massage it over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute and then if you like to you do not have to you can leave it on the skin for one to two minutes so it can treat your specific skin concern and then you're going to rinse it off with water or you could go ahead and just massage it over your face and neck for the entire one to two minutes and then remove it with water so there you can see the differences based on for how long you're going to massage it over your face and neck and depending on what you're wearing on the skin and that you're trying to remove you need to adjust your cleanser accordingly and so I want to go ahead and do one demonstration. I'm going to go with the most common ones, which would be regular cleansers. Since I'm not sure what cleanser you may have at home. So keep the points that I've mentioned just earlier with your treatment cleanser and oil or balm cleanser in mind if you should have such a cleanser at home. Now when going with a gentle cleanser or treatment cleansers, most often those are being applied to wet skin. So I'm going to go with this specific method, but your oil or balm cleanser should be applied to dry skin. So with a gentle cleanser, as this is where I want to keep my main focus on, make sure that you're using one that's suitable for your skin and type. And let's assume you're trying to remove light makeup, sunscreen, and then any oil, dirt, and sweat from the skin. That's kind of like the guidance that we have. Then a gentle cleanser would be ideal for it. So I'm going to use CeraVe's Foaming Cleanser, which is suitable for normal to oily skin. If you have a different one, exchange it. That's completely fine. The first step that we're going to do with such cleansers is going to wet the face using lukewarm water to warm water and then you're going to use about one to two pumps or about a coin size amount of cleanser for your face and neck. Now the amount, the, the, the guide that I want to share with you with how much you need to use of your cleanser can work with any cleanser. Treatment cleanser, gentle cleanser or oil 
bomb cleanser, the coin size amount is a great guide to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and do this. So go ahead, take your cleanser, dispense some product on the palm of your hand, rub it between your hands and then gently massage it over your face and neck. Now again, with gentle cleansers and oil or balm cleansers, they can be used usually around your eyes as well as lips. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. With treatment cleansers, you have to be careful with such areas. So therefore, go ahead and adjust it accordingly depending on the cleanser that you may have at home. And now I'm going to go with a general guide of massaging it over my face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute for like the real time that I'm going to do this video now. So once you have massaged it all over your face and neck, you made sure that you reached every area where you can use your cleanser to properly wash your face to break everything down. Now after 30 seconds to a minute with your gentle cleanser, you can rinse it off with water for your treatment cleanser. You can go ahead and leave it on the skin for one to two minutes a bit longer before then taking it off. And if you should have an oil or balm cleanser, well, if you feel the need of taking more time for your oil, for your sunscreen and or makeup, well then massage it on the skin skin for a bit longer before then you're going to take it off the skin. So again, this is now where it's going to change depending on the cleanser that you're using. If you're doing this above the sink, this can work well to rinse it off by just using your hands. However, depending on how stubborn your sunscreen may be or makeup that you have worn throughout the day, you can go ahead and use a soft and fresh washcloth in between that you can wet those makeup cloths or microfiber cloths and then you can use it to swipe it across your face and neck. If you should work with a treatment cleanser such as or peroxide, I recommend working with a white cloth or an old cloth because it may bleach your fabric. So if you want to include a microfiber cloth, like a makeup cloth, go ahead, wet it, and now you can go ahead and swipe it gently across your face and neck. If there still should be any residue of makeup, maybe sunscreen or just your cleanser, then this can help you to properly remove it from the skin. So now go ahead and take your fresh towel and remove the water drops from the skin surface. So, and once you're done with your cleansing step, you can stop right here or continue with your usual skincare routine. And then there you have it. If you want to get an overall idea for how long you need to use your cleanser on the face so that you can properly break down any excess oil, dirt, sweat, makeup, and sunscreen from the skin and even treat your specific skin concerns. 
Now, if, however, you want to see a specific guide on how you can work with your oil or balm cleanser, since I did not really include this specific demonstration, or you want to see a double cleanse to remove your sunscreen and makeup at first and then move on to a regular cleanser or maybe your treatment cleanser so that you can properly wash your face, I'm going to leave such videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching, but you will find more of my skincare videos on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful and informative, then please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.